So you just got into Street Fighter, feeling ready and confident in your skills. You move on to get some online matches to test your newfound skills. But what happens? Your character starts getting stunned to death, ultimately doing what you said you weren't going to do. The stun and dizziness in Street Fighter. Why is this particular aspect of the game important for the overall Street Fighter experience? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. Before we start our video, if you like The Matrix, Cowboy Bebop, and other sci-fi themes, we want to welcome you to the Cypunk feed, our new YouTube channel that covers all types of cyberpunk sci-fi themes that you might enjoy. Subscribe and join us. Stun and dizziness in the Street Fighter game are not unidimensional. Depending on the Street Fighter game, there can be up to four different types of stun visualizations. However, these stun visualizations are not only for show, but they also have deeper purpose. For example, Angels. Angels circling around the dizzied fighter's head indicate that the dizziness can be broken out of quite quickly. Bells or birds. These show that there will be some delay before action can be used again. Stars. The most commonly used state. The traditional stars circling around one's head in the Street Fighter series indicate that there will be a moderate delay before it can be broken out of. Reapers. Reapers circling around a fighter's head shows that he or she has taken quite some damage and will take a long time to recover. There's not much hope in getting out before the player is attacked again. In the most recent Street Fighter game, the female character, Goling, also has a unique freeze mechanic that replaces stun when she uses her V-trigger. But why is that Street Fighter characters get dizzy or stunned? Well, it's stated that dizziness is caused when one fighter scores several successive hits on another character, stunning them and temporarily rendering them immobile. First appearing in Street Fighter 2, dizziness has become a very important and somewhat controversial factor in the fighting style and combos of many characters in the series. It is also an implemented mechanic that rewards the aggressor. This adds great dynamic to the gameplay, rewarding skill, and aggression during combat. In nearly every Street Fighter game, dizziness is determined by a quantified number called stun. Stun is a static value given to each character that is measured via a hidden stun meter. Similarly, stun damage is a value given to every move from basic attacks to special moves. When a character takes more stun damage in a short period of time than their stun value, they enter a dizzy state. This retains the combo counter for a stunned opponent, allowing the combo to continue afterwards. It is unknown if this affects damage scaling. But you may be asking, how can I stop myself from getting caught in the deception of being stunned? While well, in Street Fighter V, there is something called the stun gauge. This indicates how close the character is to being stunned and can be found at the top of the screen underneath the health bar. The stun gauge builds up when the opponent lands a successful attack or grab. When the stun gauge becomes full, the character gets stunned and isn't able to move, leaving them vulnerable for a maximum of 4 seconds. The stun gauge will be able to fill up again after the character takes damage during the dizzy animation or if they break out of dizzy. If the character blocks an attack, the character will not build up stun, but the stun gauge will not drain either. If the player can avoid taking any damage, the stun gauge will eventually drain at a steady pace. Just like with health, characters have different amounts of stun, ranging from 950 to 1075. The amount of stun a character has is relatively close to the amount of health they have, if not the same. This means it takes less effort to stun low health characters, such as Kami, Garing, Akuma, than high health characters, such as Abigail, Sangif, and Alex. There are also tactics you can use to free yourself from being stunned. For example, in Street Fighter V, V reversals are a great way to remove pressure from the opponent and minimize the risk of being stunned. V reversals also remove a fixed amount of stun when activated. After inflicting stun on the opponent, the player can use their time waiting for the opponent to stand up again by whiffling special moves to build meter. This is a tactic commonly used by professional players during tournaments, executed by pressing forward and pressing all three punch or kick buttons after blocking an attack. The V reversal uses one bar of the V gauge to perform a counter technique, similar to the alpha counter of the Street Fighter Alpha series. In this episode, we had described the wonders of the stun feature and its attributes, and shared something that most of us wouldn't have an idea of how deep the stun effect in Street Fighter went. But before I make you guys dizzy, what did you like about the stun effect in the Street Fighter game? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. 
Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.